Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host. I'm here with you. TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, I'm the man on the CEO. Yeah, you are. And we're playing Valhalla. Yep. You ever heard of whiskey? I'm sorry, what? Have you ever heard of whiskey? And, uh, yeah. How is it? Jonas. <laughs> Good. Jonas is drinking like a 1950s business hey, admin. Doc. Yeah, I'm in Mad Men right now. All right, Please. I have to talk to Someone a bunch of people the man here. Her long ships. Oh, that's right. Maybe gotta be like, are you ready to go? Keel, maybe help him. Mast, and a poem etched into the hall to sing the praises of the Dringer who commands her. A long ship is heavy with fate. Just a few lengths of wood between you and a ward or a grave. What better place to put a line of poetry? Hmm? Agreed. It's good to fight beside you, Leaf. Likewise, Ava. Thanks again for plucking me and my warriors from the mire. You got it. Oh, okay, cool. They just want to—they just want to give me their thanks. I, I respect that. I respect that. You want to say thanks too, buddy? Gallon. Maybe that give right? me some right. raw materials. You are Eivor. <laughs> you want to give me some steel, fight. bro? Or forever warrior. It's a glorious name. Many thanks. You were in a tight spot when we found you. Indeed. The Saxons pursued me. Ran me bloody through the swamps and into the lap of bandits. And the wolves came. We all have our one day. The day we die. How you greet that day is all that matters. I'm proud to say that I was ready. Well, it's good to see you breathing still. Yeah, dude. Good, good to be, you know, any day above ground, dude. Any, <laughs> any day above ground. <laughs> Mm. Uh, oh, I gotta talk to this person too, and then talk to her, and then we can dip. All right. You What's are Vienna, and you are Avor, Sunbeam. You, you are cut a man, the woman. Fog like the sun burns through ice. You're in high spirits, all things considered. The ambush, losing your home. In this moment, yes. But ah, uh, you feel that? The moment has passed. We are free to pursue the next. What a gift! It is good to have you in this fight, Birna. I like you, Eivor. You may help me here or step on me. And by the look of you, I'd welcome either. Oh. Is that a... Never mind. I don't know what that she was. She wants to lay in bed, dude. I, that, I don't know if that's what she said. You don't even know what she said. You can't make that judgment. She said, I want your <laughs> special place <laughs> on my she special can, place. She can get this hammer. You see this hammer or, or this flail. She needs this freaking flail. That's what she can get. Yeah, is that what you call it nowadays? Yeah. Yeah. Flail? And the air is know bracing. It. Are you ready for the fight ahead? Let's take your city back. That's All what right. I like to hear. That's what you Meet like to hear. Meet me at the western gate of Grand Bridge. Right. We've assembled there. Right. No, you haven't. You're, you, we I'll will be you assembling there. I not enjoy there. taking orders from anyone but your Jarl back home. I fight for Sigurd. None else. While you're on this ship, Dag, you fight for me. And for Soma's loyalty, we fight for her. <laughs> oh, dang. What's his name? Dang, Den, Greg? Dim Sum. I can't remember his name. Dank? <laughs> it's, it's something. Dank it's, memes? It's, 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 it's something like with a hard D in it and uh, it just like a, just a lot of just onomatopoeia. Oh, his name is Doug. Hard Let's D. Let's get out of here. Some hard D going there. All right, so we're going. Where are we headed, folks? Where are we headed? Annapolis, Maryland. We gotta go way down here, man. Way down here. So, like, I you remember like how uh, Odyssey had like the giant ship battles, dude. Your ship was bombed, dude. You had fire arrows and ish. I did. So it looks like a lot of that has been taken out. And the deep water with, like, the sharks and stuff. Yeah. I ain't seen a shark so, yet. I'm going to hot take this. What are you It seems taking? like Assassin's Creed Odyssey light. Whoa, dude. Light? You mean, like, they didn't put as much effort into it or something? Yeah. Yeah. What? Are you saying that they maddened assassins? By totally denouncing everything. Ooh. Hold Save on, it. fellas. Gotta go down here and get this super hard to reach item with no sharks around it. 
Oh, can I just grab it from the, the top of the map? See, and I was like, okay, so there's no sharks in the game. Maybe it'll just add, like, uh, uh, crocodiles. Because, you know, maybe there's crocodiles out here. Oh, dude, you get, like, a little bit of Resident Evil crocodile hunter going on. Yeah, and then I thought about it, and I was like, wait a minute. It's freaking England. It gets freezing out. There's no freaking crocodiles in England. That wouldn't be right. And funny enough, Jonas, completely no crocodiles. So I guess, you know, at least they got that part right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Can't be all bad. <laughs> yeah, I, you could look at it both ways, Jonas. It's bad because there's no crocodiles because, you it's know. It's good because there's no crocodiles. Yeah, yeah, I choose to be positive about it and be like, oh, well, at least there's no crocodiles. <laughs> <laughs> at least I'm to fight a shark with a spear. <laughs> I remember fighting the hell out of that shark. It took you forever to figure out the spear was the best weapon, though. You are like, trying to use, like, all sorts of ish. Okay. <laughs> all right. Boat, look. Not to mention this boat is, like, ten times harder to control. It doesn't have a very good turn radius. But, yeah, dude, who needs crocodiles, dude? What do I look like? Some kind of crocodile you look like fiend? like Steve Irwin, dude. Some kind of croc fiend? I'm not a croc fiend. You're a croc fiend. Mm. You fiend for crocs. Oh, Freckly Goblin Zero is looking for Destiny 2 players. Let's quit and do that instead. Shout out to him. Big man on campus. <laughs> Big boy! <laughs> Big boy! Call it. Hear me! Big Fricks! Dude, I have a playlist on Spotify that has like... 17, 18, 19 hours of music. Like, like 1,700 songs or something. Yeah. And, like, sometimes I forget the songs that are on there. And the other day, I was, like, pulling this into the apartment complex. Cut. And some, like, Tupac song that I have on that playlist. It wasn't one of his, like, his, like, mainstream hits. But another, like, good song that he did came on. And I parked. And, like, how I, like, I, I, like, I felt like I needed to listen to the rest of the song. Some of that Tupac stuff hits really hard, dude. Like, he was a really good rapper. Oh, yeah. He, he, he was rapping about some real stuff. Yeah, dude. Like, I'm just like, damn. All right. Yeah, dude. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> he was rapping about some real yeah, stuff. Yeah, it was just like, in the beat. He had, he had, I don't know. If, do you know who did his beats? Was he the beat guy, too? Or did he have, like, a beat guy like Dre? You know, Dre was Snoop's beat guy. Uh, I don't know who did most of his beats, but... I, uh, I'm trying to think who he was in, in with. Was he? He was at death row, right? Well, I mean, eventually, but he was. I don't think he, he didn't was start there. out there. So, yeah. So yeah, I don't know. Who did two box? <clears throat> so I guess I could just like go in here and just kill everybody. Orlando but... Anderson. Oh wait, no wait. That's <laughs> never mind. That's the guy you got in a fight with before he got killed. Tupac and John. <laughs> Who did his beats? I get it. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tupac and Johnny J recorded more than 100 songs together. So I take it Johnny J? Johnny Lee Jackson, uh, songwriter, right. producer, and rapper. All right, all right, all right. He worked with Death Row Records, yeah. All right. Return Grand Bridge to me, Wigmund. No more of our people need die. We may talk this out, lord to lord. <laughs> what are we to talk about? You have nothing I need. Worth by birth, even. I was born a noble. You were plucked from a giant's armpit. I built this town. <laughs> what? From a mud hut to a thriving port. And we both know you'll bleed those ridges dry without my guiding hand. Leave. Go die in the muck where you belong, heathens. Wigman. Wigman, let's try one final time. Quit Grant Bridge. And when she is mine once more, I may spare your life. Ha! I command Grant Bridge. I am master here. And I will scour you rats from this land like rot from a festering wound. Let Dang. me give you some advice, old bear. Is that how you the feel? surest way to stop a wound from festering. All right, get in there, dude. Yeah, dude. Is that like gas containers, or just like uh, they put big, they put like vases in front of the door, like they think that's gonna keep 
somebody was getting in. That's what you call a red video game barrel, Jonas. They're always red. Oh, uh, dude, a big old boy battle, dude. No cops. Nope, no cops. Just a bunch of guys who just walk up on you with their with their. Taxes see, out. yeah, look at this guy. He's just standing here. He just stands. He's just standing here, so I'll hit him now. Well, yeah, dude. You got dude, the battles were harder in the last one. Well, yeah, they had that old system <laughs> where, where, like, every so often there'd be like a big old guy that would come out dude, and get you. I'm, just, I'm almost worried that this might not be as good a game. I mean, we're pretty early, but we're not that early. Right? Maybe it gets harder. Maybe it's still easy mode because I'm a babby. Maybe it's still just easy mode because I'm a big old babby. Revive my teammates. I haven't seen Wigman either. Alright, go to the long house. I got you. <laughs> Always go to the long house. Never the short house. Nobody likes that house. Nope. We like our houses long. Excuse me. What'd you say? About my mother? Oh, you said you wanted to die. Okay, I thought you were insinuating I should die. No, 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 no. They came to you for suicide. Oh, cool. All right, well, it's like, yeah. No. It's like death by cop, but you're not cop. No, I appreciate that, actually. Yeah, dude, you just want to be near there to cork, to bork in all the possibilities for them. Look at, you, look at you, you're not even attacking me. Oh, you got murdered. I want to stab you in the chest. Oh, my God. Man. It would suck to go out like that. To get stabbed in the chest by, like, a sword? I would hate that, dude. I've never been stabbed with a sword or impaled with a blade. But I'm going to have to say it's probably one of the worst ways to go. Death by uh, unassisted suicide? Probably one of the worst ways. No, to get stabbed through, like, the body cavity with, like, a sword? Or I imagine it would be quick, dude. Once you cut stick. that liver in half, dude, you're dead. <laughs> Wait, why is the liver the part that you cut? It, that doesn't, that's not what, like I mean, the heart. Maybe. Half, dude. The heart, maybe. Like, that how long? on the diaphragm, but it's still deadly immediately. Like, I don't know how long it takes for, like, your heart to be like you're dead. But I would imagine it's not much. I hear that the last, you know, the, the brain stays alive for, like, 30 seconds after death, but that, that 30 seconds is, like, eternity for you. Oh, I mean, well, 30 seconds ain't, ain't a short time to be dying. But, like, <laughs> as far as you know, it's like that whole, like, your whole life flashes before your eyes thing is yeah. like your brain death. But it, it can, I hear it can last a very long time. You know what I mean? It seems like it's like a dream. Yeah, I was going to say, it's probably like that dream. I The whole idea of, like, dreams feel like they last forever, but really it was like... 40 seconds. Right. Have you ever done like a snooze and like you snooze your alarm like six times, but like you have like six full ass dreams in every time in between your snooze and you're like, what the hell is that, dude? Oh, uh, like, yeah. Something similar. Yeah. That's sure. That's, that's, that's those are like the best because like you can have <laughs> those are the best. Well, it's like it's like you can fall asleep for 10 minutes and your alarm goes off. But in your in your dream, it's like this giant dream. You know what I mean? You're like, how the hell did I go so fast in 10 minutes? I don't know. I don't know. It's just how dreams are, man. It's like your subconscious is working a freaking triple overtime. Yeah, dude. It's like Brady. I don't know what that means. Tom, Brady, overtime, triple, winning. <laughs> I'm not going to. Next level. Elite. I'm not going to stand Tom Brady. I'm not know, standing that, anything. That's, that, go, that sounds bro. exactly what you're doing. You listing off another man's accomplishments and accolades. I feel like that's what the definition of standing is. <laughs> like it or not, sir, that's some stand tan behavior. Whatever, dude. Call up Eminem. Ask him. I don't. Call, I don't call up Eminem on the channel. <laughs> you do. You I won't. Number, no, dude. I'm not doing it, dude. He's busy. <laughs> <laughs> that's He's an awfully good hot. Music. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. <laughs> 
<laughs> what are you eating? That's an awful hot coffee pot. He wanted to say something different, but he knew he couldn't because he was talking about the uh, Presidente. When he said gonna it. make a Trump diss after he's out of office and just like wreck him, dude. Because uh, at that point he's just an ex-president. Yeah, but you you know very well you can still get in some trouble. You should do a diss track on Millard Fillmore. I don't know who that is. That's an ex-president. I feel like after that the statute of limitations has been reached and you could just talk like that, but still you're gonna get a call or a review or something, an audit. Well, I mean, he's still, for the rest of his life, he gets Secret Service, so. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can't just, like, just talk crap about, like, uh, you know, doing anything to a president. Millard Fillmore was the 13th Ex president. Or otherwise. And he was part of the Whig Party. I don't know what saying. the hell that even means. He was the last president to you not be affiliated with either the Democrat forever. or the Republican Party. 1850. Ah. Uh. Even eels. All right, Wigman, come out. Oh, it's Wiggies. Who is this man? Who's this big mother fludger? Oh, they're starting, dude. That's the first. Uh, it's the first lieutenant you know. That is a big boy, dude. He's a biggin. Get out of here. I don't want none of your trouble. Oh, how do you like me now? How do you like me now? No, get out of there! Zeke, 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 Zeke! Man, nothing is difficult. All right, we got him. We killed his butt. We killed his butt, dude. His butt's dead. Set a trap on him. Set a trap. Yeah, trap him up. Now he's trapped, dude. Anybody comes near this guy, he's gonna blow up on him. Scare the crap out of you. Oh, Wigman. Buddy, pal, compadre, amigus. What the heck is this? Earling the musician? What the hell? Earling heard about your achievements and will be honored to join your clan. Young's Viking. Aww. Our honorable warriors he who follow your boy, dude. a strict code of conduct. Wait, 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 wait. I can recruit him. That's... Someone on that's M R M J pipes. Yes. That's like, is that somebody on your friends list? No. Together just a random guy. Oh, gotcha. So oh, yeah, cool. I've had other people take my young Viking and like uh, recruit him. That's weird. Yeah, I think it is weird. I don't really understand fully how it works. Oh, collect. That's a treasure map, boy. But maybe oh, your young Viking gets experience and gains levels by other people using him. I want to read some of those. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they gain levels. I don't know how deep the rabbit hole goes on the Young's Viking, but it may. I'm more in line to think that it means nothing. Probably. <laughs> than to think it means something you know how and be disappointed. Deep the rabbit hole goes on the dark web. J Whoa. Excuse me. Whoa. I mean, uh, how's the weather? <laughs> Have you been on the dark web? No, my I dude? haven't. I've never torn it up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you I'm been on the dark web? No, nah, dude, I ain't torn it up, dude. Uh, dude, you ever see those ads that they put out trying to get, like, noobs to, like, really F themselves up? They'll be like, experience the dark web, dude. Here's the blink. And then you're like, dude, come on. Here's the link. <laughs> Here's the link. I was digging it's around the on the dark web for some info, bro. And they're, the, they're like, or the websites will be like, scan the dark web for your information. Click here now. <laughs> Click here to get onto the dark web. Yeah, that's how it works. Click here to see your info on the dark web. Yeah, click here to give us your information. You know, honestly, Jones, it's it's sick how there's still just like so many just like scam sites out there. Oh yeah. Who will just a hundred percent just as soon as you give them your credit card number, they're like, Yep, thanks, idiot. <laughs> thanks, moron. Dude, we'll be charging you. Well, and here's the thing. Thanks for the money. Yeah, dude. It's just, dude. And it's like, and he, it happens to people who aren't even like, I, dude. It's just. What? It's just what? Like, like my grandmother. <laughs> she doesn't. My I grandmother knew this just, was gonna go into a grandma. My story. grandma does not have I the internet. It. Okay. Yeah. One grandma. The other one does. Yeah. 
She fell for a scam where someone called her house and asked for her credit card number and she gave it to them over the phone. Oh, I don't know what they duh. were. I was like, she goes, yeah, and then, and then the bank called and I'm like, yep. know, why did you just give someone your credit card number when they asked for it? And she was like, well, they said they were. And I was like, they said oh they were. My God. Oh, you got to be extra dong dang careful, my man. That's well, you know unfortunate. what's funny is I was just talking. Uh, and that's the people they're taking care of, taking advantage of. Too. Well, yeah, like you and I know better. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like they anybody. don't. Especially without the internet. She thinks everybody's telling the truth about everything. Have you have you fallen for it in like the last couple of years? No, absolutely not. I was going to actually about to tell a story. It was funny. I was hanging out with someone and we were ordering food. And they were like, oh, you've got, you've got the last couple meals. I'll get this one, you know, whatever. And I was like, okay, cool. And I was like, where, where, where's your wallet or whatever? And she was like, oh, no, it's cool. I got my card memorized. And I was like, oh. I was like, yeah, I do too. Like, I've had my card memorized forever. And then I started thinking about it. And I was like, I have had the same debit card number for 16 years. Oh, that's nuts, In all 16 years, I've been using that debit card on the internet and no one has ever yeah. got a hold of it and used it for a fraudulent charge. No. That's how smart I am on the internet of giving out my information. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm getting fraud alerts because <laughs> yeah. I'm tooting my own horn. It like but it's like, here. it just proves Maybe the show. If you're cautious... Walls. Shall we search? Yeah. No. <laughs> He'll be gone. Count on it. Argar coward. But we've struck a bold claim today. Walk with me. I want you to sound our battle horn to announce our victory. Let all the Shire horn. know that Grandbridge is retaken. The sound of the horn means prosperity, long life, bounty. Why me? Why not? You were the keystone to this attack. You turned the tide. Heck Let yeah, the wind dude. from your lungs breed life back into my city. Well, you want me to put my lips on this thing? <laughs> put your <laughs> mouth all around the phallic horn. All right, if you insist, it's not going to like spit coconut cream in my face, is it? <laughs> Spit coconut cream in my face. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I don't know, Jones, with like uh, ID theft. It's not always up to you. No, it's not. Absolutely not. Like, people who are very smart get their ID any Yeah, yeah. Especially if you're like, you got money, and then people are definitely going to do it. Like the thing that happened to Elon Musk just recently. Yeah, dude, party time. We won, dude. I don't know if I killed Wegmans or not, but I feel like I did. Warriors. Warriors. Beautiful. Mouth to play, yay. But tonight, tonight, we feast as gods! What happened to Elon Musk? Uh, with the Bitcoin thing, where he was talking about matching Bitcoins and people were falling Oh, but it wasn't just Elon, it was like Obama and a bunch yeah, of people. Yeah, it was people. a bunch of people, but even still. Yeah, but people make really bad passwords, hey! even like rich people, especially rich people. I don't think there was this many women in uh in charge during this time period yeah i feel dude. like there's a strong feel i mean i'm playing a female too so maybe not th thematically correct she just slept on the floor with a horn on her side Heck ah. yeah wake up my clan Sweet. throws the best feasts i think you'll find you enjoy yourself my holes i did but were you celebrating or mourning? You looked unsure. Wake her up off the floor and then talk ish, dude. Like, you passed out on the floor, B. I mean, lots of people did. The night of the <laughs> attack, I heard sounds of bloodshed coming from the longhouse. In moments, mm -hmm. the city was overrun with Saxons, so I called a retreat. We all have our one day, but not like that. Not that day. I have heard this before. That the Saxons appeared as if from the shadows. In all my time in Grantbridge, this tunnel was my most careful project. The best kept secret in the city. 
Now a hundred or more Saxons know the smell of it. The only people who knew about this tunnel were me, and the three in my inner circle. You think there's a traitor? This could be another explanation. It's my brother. You believe you were betrayed. I know I was. Da -da -da. I that Mark. is where I hesitate. Between Leaf, Galen, and Birna, I cannot say. Oh, I gotta figure out what's going But they are the three who helped me dig this in secret. Oh, their secret tunnel. I uh. hoped you might lend me your wits. You are a fresh ally. I could use your eyes and ears. I promised you I'd help secure your city. That task isn't yet done, it seems. Good. I sent Galen, Leaf, and Birna to destroy what remains of Wigman's power throughout the Shire. Meet with them. Raid with them. Get to know them as best as you can. Oh, really? Find out which of them betrayed me. Really? Uh, you... So we gotta hunt down a rat, dude? You are closer to them than me. We should focus on Wigman first. I think... Uh, I don't know, dude. You're closer I'll do what to I them can, than me. But you know your warriors far better than I do. Between you and me, my heart is clouded. I love these three as if we shared a womb. I need clear. Sound you say we judgment. shared a womb? Yeah. I need you, Eivor. You have me. Uh, Ooh, kiss her. Thank you. <laughs> John, she leaned her head in like she was going to smooch, dude. Stop trying to Search get lesbian city, action on the channel. And here, a gift for retaking Grand Bridge Whatever, with dude. us. <laughs> One of the few things I have left from my blood family. You're not that type of channel. Her blood family is the best one. What, what did I get, dude? A free gift. A free gift. We did it. And a level, boy. Boom. Yeah, boy. Oh, uh, dude. And and now I have a new city unlocked. So I gotta do flighting. By the way, we have to do some flighting. Is that some like? We might do a whole episode where we do nothing but flight. That'll get no one to watch, dude. <laughs> dude we no have one likes to do, flighting. We have to do the flighting. You gave me a shield. What kind of ish is that? Ew. The blood will, dude. Blood. Actually, I've heard, Jonas, I've heard that there is a double shield. Can you go ba da ba ba da like bash I, people? I think you can, dude. And I was contemplating maybe even... I gotta get away from people so I can at least try it out. And then we're, we're, we'll, we'll... Oh, yeah, let, let's check this. Out. Oh, my God. So you can... Again, so it doesn't waste time. Oh my god, he was like, pop, 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 pop. Just total defense and just like flat mofos. So you, yeah, but you can. What's the heavy attack? But you can't really like do anything with the other shield except for block. But this shield can get some moves done. It can. Oh, and you go into the other shield with certain attacks. Yeah, because you like attack with that other shield. Okay, yeah, it's double shields, man. Maybe we'll try it out for for a fight or something, but on the next one, man. That's all time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've done that. Do him on Twitch. Don't do him, just watch. Yeah, don't do me, dude. Never do me. TNT Dynamite Twitch, uh, twitch.tv underscore DNT Dynamite underscore Crazy Town underscore your mom. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Jonas. TNT. Uh, we are out. Uh... <laughs>